Welcome to the Compassion and Choices community. We're so glad you're eager to learn more and become a part of our team. And you couldn't have arrived at a better time. Our movement is experiencing tremendous momentum, but we need more people like you. Compassion and Choices mission is to improve care and expand choice at the end of life so that everyone has the right to die in comfort, dignity, and control. The end of life care and choice movement is a grassroots movement with people like you and me making a difference in our communities. And we know firsthand that things need to change or more people will suffer. Well-informed, concerned people like you talking with neighbors, family, friends, and coworkers, and most importantly, taking action is the way our movement grows. Two years ago this month, my husband Randy died from brain cancer. Please help me fulfill the final promise that I made to my husband by making death with dignity legal by voting yes on I-1000. Thank you. For more than 30 years, the people of Compassion and Choices, the leading end-of-life advocacy organization in the country, have committed to improve care and expand choice at the end of life. From patient autonomy protections that honor your health care decisions to expanding your end-of-life choices to include aid in dying. We're winning in state capitals, in courtrooms, and at the ballot box. Because of supporters like you, our movement continues to grow and expand across the country. Compassion and Choices not only advocates for more choice and better end-of-life care, but we also provide end-of-life consultation directly to individuals and their families free of charge. We've helped thousands of people across the country with their advanced health care planning, their end-of-life care, and provided information on end-of-life options. If you know of someone who has questions about end-of-life care and choice, please give them our number, 800-247-7421, to speak with one of our trained and compassionate consultants today. We're here to help. End-of-life choice is gaining tremendous momentum in public opinion and in the press. Our movement is front page news across the country. People like Brittany Maynard, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, Dear Abby, Edward James Olmos, and others are talking about end of life choice. And Compassion and Choices is here to help them and people like you have a voice in ensuring that all people have access to improved care, dignity, and choice at the end of life. A big part of what makes Compassion and Choices so special is our volunteers. Because of our volunteers' efforts, the work of tens of thousands of people like you, we are starting a national conversation around end-of-life choice and seeing real change. Around the country, end-of-life care and choice is becoming an important healthcare consumer rights issue. Aid in dying is now authorized in five states, Oregon, Washington, Montana, New Mexico, and Vermont. But we have much more work ahead of us before everyone has access to the end-of-life care and choice they deserve. So how can you help? If you haven't already, sign up at www.compassionandchoices.org volunteer to be connected to local volunteer leadership in your state. If you have already signed up, local leaders will contact you soon with opportunities to get involved. Compassion and Choices has active campaigns in many states, is working towards ensuring open and accessible practices of death with dignity in other states, and is supporting local groups in additional states. In fact, we have volunteers in almost every state. Our campaigns and other state efforts stand good chances to succeed because of the strong advocates and volunteer groups pushing forward. But we need your help as we achieve our goals in your state and across the nation. We're coming together to make sure your voice is heard by lawmakers and other policymakers so that you and your loved ones have comfort, dignity, and control at the end of life. We're letting people know they're not alone in their beliefs about end-of-life choice. Working together makes volunteering easy and fun. And more importantly, your work will really pay off. This is your call to action. And here are some quick and easy ways to get started. Join us on social media. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and other popular sites. Get involved in the conversation and share our message. 
Talk to your friends, family, and healthcare providers about end-of-life choice. And be sure to visit our Volunteer Action Center for toolkits on organizing video and film gatherings, writing letters to the newspaper, hosting house parties, and more. Another thing you can do right now is remind everyone that language and words really matter. Death with dignity and aid in dying are both the preferred language for referring to a terminally ill, mentally competent adult who receives a prescription from their doctor for a patient-controlled death. We are careful to avoid emotional or hurtful words like suicide or doctor-assisted suicide. These terms are inaccurate and inflammatory. Far too many people in your state and in many others are suffering right now, and your involvement will make a big difference. Now let's get some laws passed and healthcare systems changed to provide people with comfort, dignity, and control during their time of greatest need. Your efforts mean everything to us and to the people you will be helping. Please get involved at www.compassionandchoices.org volunteer. Thank you.